Hey everybody, hey, uh, welcome to the tour of the house in Lux. So this house is the first Lux we've built. If you're following along with us, you might recognize it. It looks a lot like a custom home we built called the Trey Hen. And we got a lot of response from that home and a lot of people really uh, kind of wanting to see an option of that. So we've, we've created the Lux. So the Lux is a 33 foot long by eight foot six wide. Um, really beautiful, lots of big windows, lots of glass. Uh, let me take you on through and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, one of the cool things about the Lux is that it actually has two entrances. So we have this big sliding patio door, which is able to open up and give you really outside in kind of living experience. Obviously a lot of glass. Well, big priority of us here is that we design with a lot of glass. We have these really cool architectural lines, this kind of offset peak that uh, depending on your perspective of the house really can make it look quite a bit wider and larger than it is. So I really like that. The couch in this home is a Van Gogh, which is a Canadian made couch, really beautiful, good quality. And this one's actually a high to bed, so it pulls out, gives extra room for sleeping when guests show up. So it's a really good extra use of space there. We have our eating area slash workstation here. So we have, as you can see, set for dining, um, lots of storage built in underneath. Um, and actually one of two ERV ventilators here, Blauberg ERV ventilators, which cir circulate and refresh the air in the home, keeping it uh, fresh and healthy. Um, we have lighting built in, um, slim LED lighting built in. All of the lighting in the home is LED. It's all really efficient. It's all on dimmers, all programmable. I think that's really important for creating kind of the feeling you want in your home. Here's the kitchen. So we have a really open, really big, really full functioning kitchen. Um, obviously, again, lots of glass, giving it that feeling. You'll also notice that we don't have the upper, upper cabinetry. We try to bring all of our function down low, and we do have a lot of function. And what that does is, again, it leaves room for glass, leaves room for, in this case, a really sleek microwave hood vent. We love the low profile of this, because again, it's not clunky, it's not taking up a lot of space. But we do have a lot of storage. We start with the hutch, and we have tons of shelving, drawers, and storage built in over here. And then over throughout the kitchen, we have all custom storage as well. Um, a little spice rack built in beside the range. Um, storage built in underneath the peninsula, underneath the range as well. And really we try to get storage all throughout wherever we can, even underneath our fridge here. And that's a little unique to tiny homes because we're hiding fenders. So the fridge gets on up on top of that fender. We have room for storage underneath. Full size fridge as well. Um, really nice, um, really nicely outfitted that way. And then of course, because we have stairs, we're gonna grab storage wherever we can. So we'll have the classic riser drawers all the way down, big deep drawers all the way down. We have a utility closet here. This houses our IBC combination boiler, which creates, the, um, which creates hot water on demand, as well as our fires, our hydronic in-floor heating, which is the main heating source for the home. You'll notice up above though, we also have a to so many split. So that's a, a, essentially a secondary heat source if needed, but really that's there for air conditioning at this point. We then have storage pouring all the way back into the hallway, kind of pantry style storage. And yes, this one does, like we say, has a back hallway or a mudroom, what we like to call it. And I can take you back there right now. A full size, large closet. So this home has a lot of function that way. A lot of storage through these pantries and this closet for a lot of different things in life. A full glass door again, which lets a ton of light into our bathroom and our back hallway here. So behind the walnut sliding door, we have a full bathroom. So we're really proud of this bathroom. We're actually really quite excited about how it all came together. So full functioning bathroom, we have a toilet. This bathroom does not have a washer dryer component. We have the space and in this case, we've replaced it with shelving, um, a big pantry in behind the toilet. We have our beautiful custom vanity sink. So a lot of custom concrete work here. So we have this, this cool green colored uh, reeds is what they're called um, with a backlit LED backlit mirror, which is really beautiful. This sink we're really proud of. It's a variation of the sink we use in the Halcyon 1 and the Halcyon 2. It's a custom concrete sink that we've developed with Simon at Phoenix Concrete. So this sink, what it does is it pulls the P-trap and actually hides it into our plumbing wall. So what that allows is it gives us full storage with no plumbing underneath. And in this one, because there's not a lot of vanity space, we have a concrete vanity or a extra countertop that pulls up to give us more space. Beautiful shower, and I really want to talk about this concrete. So we've gone to single piece concrete tiles. So you'll notice there's no grout lines, there's no grid pattern. It's just this homogenous, really beautiful, kind of calm look. And we've done that all throughout the shower. So a custom glass door with a uh, handle that doubles as a door stop as well as a towel hook. And into the shower, it's a full one piece shower, kind of matching the style of the sink. Um, light, and it's really spa-like with this window and 
this built-in alcove niche. So we're really proud of it. Welcome up to the split loft. So we came up a really comfortable, safe set of stairs, and now we're in what we like to call our split loft. We don't like crawling around in lofts. We, if we can, we'd like to just be able to stand next to things. So we have the ability to kind of come up here, um, get ready, um, access the dresser, and yeah, in a way that we don't have to crawl around on our hands and knees and just be able to just pop up into bed just really comfortably and sit straight. So all of our homes with lofts, we always do the same thing with windows. We always want windows on either side of the, of the bed. Um, it's really inspired by me and Heather living in a city bus when we were first married. And we just want to be able to bring those views in. We don't want things to feel claustrophobic up here. We want to be able to open those windows and bring cross breezes through. It's just really beautiful. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of headroom. We do that through our floor system or our, or our ceiling, if you will, uh, being all part of the cabinetry. And we don't waste a lot of space uh, with floor joists or anything like that. So. A lot of space up here, kind of a neat headboard, with LED backlit. It's, it's in fact, it's kind of the, the headboard is a bit of a shadow of the walnut screen that's out on the, at the foot of the bed. And so that's kind of a way to interact and bring that roof line through the building. Um, lots of storage, we have a little bedside table and a bookshelf. We also have more storage in underneath here. Um, and with this walnut here being the, essentially the coffered ceiling that allows the headroom in the back hall. So it's all quite integrated, quite comfortable and really just a beautiful place um, to sit and hang out. One of my favorite parts of this home is actually the view that comes off the foot of the bed. So as you lay in bed, you have these the, the main window in the house, the main cathedral-like window, and then you have this one that's cut off. And really, when you put these two windows together, effectively the whole front footprint of the house is glass. And it's really noticeable from up here. So it's a really fun, kind of beautiful view from for bed. We're really proud of the way this house turned out with the exterior. There's a lot of things that kind of work together to kind of give us the appeal and the look that we were looking for. But more importantly is kind of how it's going to function. So we start with all metal siding. So this is a, a 20 inch snap lock product. It's got kind of a neat um, flecking to it. It almost looks like a galvalume in black. It's really cool. It seems to suck the light up at a distance, but kind of shines a little bit when you're up close. So it's kind of neat the way it looks. Now the wood, we like to stay away from wood in our exteriors, but this is a thermally treated wood. And the reason we're using this wood is because obviously we want that ceiling that's inside the house to kind of extend through the windows and extend outside. Now this thermally treated wood has a durability that standard wood doesn't have and a weatherability on the exterior that, that it's really neat the way it works. So it's been oiled and it's very, very resilient and has very long warranties. So that's one of the reasons we're using it. Our windows, we have lots of them, so they need to be of high quality. So we use a fiberglass window um, in, rather than a PVC vinyl. And as you'll see, we have, as we talked about inside, there's the two exterior doors, which is kind of neat. And both being glass, again, just opens up a lot more light and a lot more view into the inside of the home. This one has an RV designation. And uh, yeah, it's a 50 amp RV hookup for electricity and then natural gas or propane for the gas. Thanks for coming along on a tour. We're really proud of this home. I hope you liked it. Thanks for following along.